Bibles to Matthew 14, verses 15 to 19. Please be standing. Matthew 14, verses 15 to 19. The Bible says, when the Lord was ministering, and multitudes came to listen to him, as evening approached, the disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away, so they can go to the villages and buy themselves some food. And Jesus replied, They do not need to go away. You give them something to eat. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish. They answered, Bring them here to me, he said. And he directed the people to sit down on the grass, taking the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. Then he gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the people. The Bible says anyone who comes to Jesus, you will not, you'll not go back empty-handed. If you come to seek the Lord, you know, maybe the people next to you may not know what you're going through. The people may not be interested to know what you're going through. But the Bible says anyone who comes to the Lord will not go back empty-handed. There's something very unique and special. The Lord blesses each time you come to seek him. The disciples said, send these people away. We cannot feed these people. But the Lord said, I'm not going to send them away the way they came. So when you come to the house of God, I want to encourage you that you're not going to go back the way that you come this afternoon. And the Lord says, what do you have? And the disciples say, we got five loaves of bread and two fish. And any time you're faced with a challenge in your life, the Bible clearly says, if you can have a bit of increase in the volume in this microphone, please. The Bible says, the Lord gave thanks. What did the Lord do? He gave thanks. The moment he was having a challenging situation, the first thing the Lord did was to give thanks. And then we know the rest of the story where the food was multiplied and fed 5,000 and more. Anytime you come to the house of God, anytime you come to God, when you're frustrated, when you're disappointed, and you're facing a challenging situation, you got to see God in the situation. In the sense, when God is involved, it is never going to be easy. Tell it loudly, never going to be easy. Never going to be easy. It's going to be divine. I can't hear you. It's going to be divine. It is never going to be easy. But it's going to be divine. What does it mean? When God chose a small boy to kill, to kill a Goliath, God was involved there. When God chose a barren woman to bring forth a prophet called Samuel, God was involved there. When God was standing in front of the dead tomb of Lazarus and call him out God was involved there when God told Abraham a hundred year old man that you'll have a son God was involved there when God sent forth his angel to a virgin and said you're going to be carrying the savior of the world God was involved there throughout the scriptures you'll never see that God has made it easy for us but always his divine plan comes to completion so when you're frustrated when you're disappointed facing challenges of life you got to see God in it you got to see God's hand in it. You got to see God's power in it. If you're reading the same Bible that I read, if you're reading about the same Jesus that I read, you can show me a scripture where Jesus was involved and God was involved and everything was easy. Never. It might look complicated. Now you're looking for a table and you're looking for furniture. Am I right? In your house. But never would God give you the table and the furniture. He will always give you a tree. God will give you a tree. He's not going to make the table for you. He's not going to give the furniture for you. When you are a person, an individual of praise, when you are a man or woman of praise, you will see what God is doing in your life. Tell this evening, I praise the Lord for the tree he has given. And you're praying, fasting for your table and your chair. And I pray this evening that your eyes will be open because when the disciples came to Jesus, they said, we got only five loaves of bread and two fish. They were only seeing what they got physically in their hand. But the Bible says, Jesus gave thanks and the heavens responded. With whatever you have this evening as we worship the Lord, I want you to have a heart full of praise, a heart full of thanksgiving. Whatever you have in your life at the moment, whatever challenges you have at the, in your life at the moment as well, place it at the feet of the Lord. Place it in the hands of the Lord and give thanks unto him. And give thanks unto him and the rest will be history because you are seeing the five loaves of bread and two fish for me I'm seeing the fivefold ministry and the two testaments because we have the fivefold ministry of the apostles the teachers the pastors the evangelists and the prophets and we have the two testaments the old and the new testament 
now when the lord blessed and fed 5000 people that day today he's feeding millions of people across the world through the fivefold ministry in the body of christ and the two testaments in the bible so for you it is only too little to comprehend what god is doing in our lives but this evening the lord speaks to you and saying my son and my daughter place it in my hands now place it at my feet and you will see what i'm going to do in your life with every eye closed with every hand lifted high as we sing you deserve the glory place your situation in the hands of jesus this evening place the challenges in the hands of jesus this evening if the lord could do it for his people because he clearly said i do not want my people to go empty handed i do not want my people to go in lack because the god you serve the god whom you came to seek this evening he will never leave you in lack not only spiritually even physically as well he is mindful of every need he is mindful of every frustration he is mindful of every challenge he is mindful of every disappointment we go through in life but then he speaks to us and says this evening my son and my daughter may your heart be filled with thanksgiving with praise and worship and what i have done for my people 2000 years back is the same i'm willing to do for you 